Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Revolution. The folks at Revolution have just released a sneak peek of things coming over to iClone 8 and Character Creator 4. So there are amazing things that we would be getting in the new release of these tools. And for those who would like to come through and check this out, I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you here where you can see the sneak peek, the work in progress, and check out some of the comparison and a couple of awesome things that will be coming. iClone 8 is gearing up to become the next character animation powerhouse, while character creator will be the character creation branch. Now if you go over to where we have the work in progress preview part 1 for character creator on iClone, you'll be able to see that we have way more stuff that deals with the previews and also the sneak peeks for iClone 8. Character creator will also be having a couple of updates and right now the only information that we have is character creator will be a tool that you can use to create and edit both full body and facial expressions of a model. You would also be able to create vivid and unique facial expressions and users can further check talking and body animations and at the same time they will be able to preview animations directly in character creator instead of shipping this out to iclone to play with animations they will be able to do all of this as character creator will be coming as an independent tool that can handle all of this task although there's still going to be compatibility between iclone and character creator especially for those who like to do things like lip sync facial and body animations or maybe you like to play with some motion capture data then you can easily move from character creator over to iclone now with that said iClone and Character Creator will be coming with the Omniverse Connect and this would help you connect to the Omniverse platform where you can move all of your files from iClone and Character Creator by simply using the USD data architecture for collaboration and creating some amazing visuals with these tools. iClone 8 will be coming as a pipeline version only tool which means that 3D exchange will no longer be required for you to export FBX and OBJ. And the same thing applies to Character Creator and this also means in general that 3D exchange will be disconnected once these tools get released sometime in 2022. FBX motion files that will be imported into iClone 8 will now automatically be retargeted to standard CC characters and also non-standard characters. And things are gearing up for iClone as iClone 8 would also be shipping with a couple of built-in tools like the curve editor function, the end effector animation and facial animation curves as well. And of course, we'll also be getting a couple of pipeline tools that will be existing both in Character Creator and also on iClone. Moving forward, there is a whole lot of things coming over to iClone 8 in terms of animation. One of them is the Motion Director. Motion Director will give artists the ability to direct their characters however they choose. So you can choose to direct your characters by placing waypoints which they can easily walk through and follow or you can use your keyboard and your mouse to trigger certain events or you can simply use your joystick or your game controllers to control your characters however you want. There's also a couple of motion based innovations that will be coming and these things are geared towards motion captures as we'll be getting an automatic motion alignment. There's also a motion direction control would also be seeing a bi-direction blending for smoothing clips, transitions, and this is also going to tie up with things that you'll be getting with the motion blending. So motion blending will also make a lot of sense as this will definitely help those who would like to blend multiple clips together. Now in most cases you need to have a joint that you can use as a point of reference for position matching and the motion blending will definitely make this automatic transition as smooth as possible. Now for those who like to extend the looping animation and also have transition with it, this is also something that iClone 8 will be bringing to the table. The multi-animation layer editing is something that is here to stay. So we'll be getting both multi-layer animation editing, a hand key layer editing for those who like to keyframe, layer their stuff however they want, and get the characters to behave exactly how they want. And for the most part, if you also like to mirror your animations, the mirror motion would also be available for you to do it. Now iClone 8 will also be coming with a new control rig. So for those who've been wondering about playing with control rig, yep, this is something that will be coming. And the new control rig will also come with an end effector for those who like to make both non-realistic and realistic animation. And if you're also excited about targets, there is also a rich target editing for interactive motion that will be here. Now, all of these things make sense, but then in most cases, when you're working with motion capture data, you have things like foot sliding. And this is where the effector actually comes in handy. Now, the folks at Revolution have actually created something known as motion correction. And what this would help you do is to prevent over exaggeration of certain parts like the hand or the feet from moving further away than where it is supposed to be. And this is definitely going to help you get that refined and cleaner looking motion data capture 
contrary to what you already had. Now, the curve editor is also something that will be making a lot of sense, accompanying with the motion correction and also the animation layers, as this is going to help artists fix, tweak, and create some very interesting motions and fix the animation along the line. The entire motion pipeline is something that will be making a lot of sense, as artists can now take full advantage of all of these tools and play with the motion capture data directly in iClone 8 and get the best results that they always wanted to get. And of course, if you're coming from Motion Builder or Maya, working with iClone 8 will be an easy breeze as you would probably find all these tools extremely easy to work with. Now, at the same time, iClone 8 is promising to come with certain real-time visuals that deals with volumetric lighting, lighting enhancement, and also lens flare. So if you like to apply lens flare to your scene, Right now, this is something that is very possible so you can tweak and get that very interesting cinematic lighting effect directly in your scene. And for those who like to play with volumetric lights, there is going to be a couple of volumetric lights that you can now use in iClone 8. So once iClone 8 is out, there will be a directional spot and also a point light that you can tweak. And I believe all of these things would make a lot of sense within the parameters and all you need to do is just turn them on without any caching, without any recalculation, you'll be able to get these things to work. The lights and shadows and strength multipliers is also here. And for those who like to play with the mirror plane shader, this is also something that will be coming to iClone 8 and you can take advantage of it. There's also promises of motion blur coming over to iClone 8 and all these beautiful things is just to help you get that perfect animation scene that you've always wanted. So iClone 8 is coming lots of interesting features and for anyone who would like to come through and check these things out you want to read up on them you want to catch up with all of the beautiful details and you would like to see these things link to this is going to be in the description so you can come through and check it out there is a couple of things you might want to see especially if you like to see what iclone 8 would be offering versus what you already have with iclone 7 so if you like to see all the beautiful things or maybe you would like to come through and check out for character creator or maybe for iclone and see the pipeline tools that is available for this tool. Link to this is going to be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I see you guys in the next one. Peace.